So yesterday I went to Hauserman's and I bought myself a Neo Phoenicia Falcata um, that should be pink and um, it had two fans but one of the fans uh, was not attached and it's here and you can see that this fan has no roots on it. Um, I'm not ready to throw it away yet into the compost pile um, so I'm going to attempt to salvage it or at least um, give it some time to see if it will grow roots before um, I pitch it. I guess it needs to be really brown and dead before I do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put it in rooting hormone and then uh, keep the humidity up in hopes that this will induce it to put out some roots and I can save it. So I have here a Ziploc baggie, which I have already um, labeled with the name of the orchid because I don't want to forget what this is. Um, I have some pre-wet um, sphagnum. I have rooting hormone. I've actually had this rooting hormone for a long time. Um, and I have to say actually that I've never had it successfully root anything um, and it's old. So who knows if this will work, but hey, fun experiment. So open up my Ziploc baggie. I'm going to put some, I found it's actually a little bit easier for stability if I put a uh, sphagnum in a little plastic cup. Um, this is a leftover um, container from when I was buying orchids. So here is my piece. Um, the instructions for the rooting hormone is to dip the base into the root tone about a fourth inch deeper than it would be um, set in the rooting medium, which is my sphagnum, and then to tap off the excess powder. So to make sure that it's going to stick, I'm going to wet this. Because hey, if a little rooting hormone's good, then a lot will be great. So here it is, all wet. Open it up. I'm gonna dip it in, nice and tall. Oops, it's stuck. Tap off the excess. Ooh. Lots and lots of rooting hormone. Lots more on this side. Pinto, Pinto, you're in. You're in the taping area. Pinto, move. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. All right. It's a little stinky. I'm going to put it, I'm going to make a little hole in my moss, stick it in, add a little bit more moss around it. So it's all nice and buried and who knows if it'll work. We'll have to do a follow-up in a few months. I will, I mean, no harm, no foul, right? If it doesn't work, I have um, a live piece, and if it does work, then I have two plants. So here we go. It's going in the bag. Pin Pinto, I don't need you know. I don't need you taking part in this. And the other thing I don't like about doing the bag and bag is that. Um, I've also really never had it work to do roots even without rooting hormone and I think it's because it doesn't breathe enough. I think it needs, these plants need a little bit more aeration. So I'm actually going to leave a tiny little hole on the side here so that it can breathe but stay moist. I'm going to zip it all the way closed actually. Just it from the top. Because uh, plants actually do gas exchange, and so I feel like if the bag is completely closed, there's no gas exchange, and then um, they like suffocate themselves because they probably put out too much oxygen and don't get enough carbon dioxide back. So there we go. The hole might be better if I put a little straw in there so they can breathe. But here we go, it's all set up. And then I'm going to put it in my grow area and we'll just see how it does.
So I did, in the end, stick a little straw through the hole to make sure that it stayed open and I could have gas exchange. And I guess we'll check back in in a few months and see if it's still alive.